going to share and, and engage you in a discussion on change management. We're going to talk about the scientific model or scientific formula for, for change management. And a guy by the name of David Gleischer put this together back in the 60s he was a clinical psychologist and he was studying change. And he's actually, this formula is the founder of all the change management books that are out there in the marketplace. And some people change the names. So I'm just going to stick with the original, right? Interesting. Okay. So when we talk about a formula, there's always a, a symbol and a formula that's in there. And, and this symbol is sort of the greater than or equal to formula. And uh, the key to the, this is there's some information on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. And the first point I want to talk about is, is resistance. That's the R on the right-hand side. It talk, yeah. talks about resistance. Yeah. And everybody's resistant to change, yes. right? And, and why do you think they're resistant to change? Fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown, right? And there's energy and time. Yes. Money. All those right. things could play a role. Right. And so most people are just, you know, it's easier to stay in their comfort zone than, than to change. Right. However, people do change, and this is the thing that uh, Gleischer came up with. He says, well, let's talk about why they do, right? In nature, water takes the path downhill. It never goes over the rock. It always goes around the rock, mm -hmm. right? But people have the opportunity to change. The question is why and how come they do. So the first right. thing somebody might want to change is if they're unhappy, if they're dissatisfied, right? right? So the D stands for dissatisfaction. Right. If you're not right. happy with your current state, right. then you might want to change, right. Right? right? Now your customers, in this case, and the people that could benefit from your services are right. unhappy about things. What are those things? Well, first of all, they, their peers are outperforming them, their competitors are outperforming them, uh, they're losing deals, they're not getting enough leads. All these things are contributing to the, their dissatisfaction. Okay, and dissatisfaction is only part of it, right? Because if you don't know where you're gonna go, what, what, what the benefit or where you wanna go, that would be impossible. So you have to have the vision. Right. right. So in this case, the V stands for vision. Okay. Right. And so for your customers, you kind of identified what they're unhappy with. Right. right. The current results. Right. To some degree. Right. Uh, what's their vision? Their vision is they want to grow. They they want to become better. They 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 know that this is out there. They read about it. They see their competitors doing it. They they want to develop that competitive advantage for themselves. Yeah. In the short, I mean, in the short run, I mean, we're all in business to make. A profit. I mean, that's why we run a business, right? And so right. they want to grow their their revenues. Absolutely. Right. And then there's three people really that you influence with this tool, right? There's the business owner. Right. There's the sales manager and the salesperson. That's correct. Right. And so they all have different visions about what it is that they want to achieve. What What do you think those are? Share those for us. Well, for you know, from a sales manager's perspective, you know, they want to move their their B players to A players, and they want to move their A players to the next level, and that's precisely what we do for them. From a salesperson's perspective, they just want to they want to meet their quota. They want to crush their quota. They want to exceed it, and so they see their their peers outperforming them. They see their competitors doing well. They want to do well. Okay, and the business owner, they get the results, right? They get the results. They're going to get the, Bottom line. the, the revenues. Bottom They're going to get the revenues. It's more profitable, profitable for them. Okay, so in the, in this model, right? If we know that 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 they're unhappy, right, and they have a place that they want to go, right? right? The, right. the third component to this formula is that they have to have a plan. They have right. to know what the first steps are to be right. able to get from that state of dissatisfaction to that vision. Right? Right. If there's no plan, there's no chance for change. Correct. Right? Correct. And for change. And, and you're, you've got the plan, right? That's right. So help explain what the first steps are to help your customers get from where they're at today to where they're going to go tomorrow. So the first step is education. Educate yourself. There's a tremendous amount of information available on the internet. We, pro we provide it on a daily basis. We have ebooks, re free resources you can learn. Second thing is learn about where you're at relative to your competition. And third is practice. Take some of the things you're learning and just start. Just start doing some things. You'll see the results. Well, and an easier part of the plan, right, is obviously to, to connect with you because you, you will actually build them a plan because when, when they get to, when, when they're looking at an opportunity to get where they want to go, they're no longer uh, worried about uh, what you're getting out of the deal. Right. They're buying their vision. They're going to buy right. what it is that they get. And, and you're essentially able to provide that vision for them. We, we provide a, uh, a prescriptive model that shows them exactly what they need to do to be successful.